Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome back to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. This week we are doing part two of this kind of God and Goddess inspired names list series. This week is the boys list, which we are doing mythology baby names for boys inspired by gods. These are gonna be names that are strong, powerful, and handsome for your little baby boy for this names list. They kind of give off this mythology kind of God feel. So so I do have direct God names of mythology, but I also do have some names that just give off that vibe. So we have best of both worlds here, okay? But before I get on with the list, guys, if you haven't already subscribed yet, please do so by clicking the big red button down below. Also go check me out over on my Instagram as I'm always posting on there. And then if you guys are interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one name consultation with myself, or you have any questions in regarding to that, you guys can send me a DM over on Instagram, or you can send me an email with the email that's right here. All right, so to start the list off, I actually wanted to include my son in the beginning of the video because the very first name on this list is actually his name because his name is inspired by a Greek god. Ari! That's the name Aries. How do you spell your name? A O Y A. No, A R E S. A R E S. Good job! So his name is Ares, which is inspired by the Greek mythological god of war. And his, <laughs> and his name means ruin or bane. And we absolutely loved his name and thought it fit perfectly on today's list, right? Do you live up to your name? <laughs> he has his thumbs up. That's his thumbs up. Can you put your thumbs up? Yay! Can you say bye to the peeps? I'm gonna move on with the rest of the list. Bye peeps! So moving on to our second name on today's list, I have the name Valen, spelled V-A-L-E-N, Valen. So handsome, it's Latin rooted, meaning strength or health. Then I have Milan, spelled M-I-L-A-N, Milan. Now this is a place name, but it means of great strength. Similar to Aries, another Greek inspired name here is the name Argo, spelled A-R-G-O, Argo. Now this one back in Greek mythology was the name of a ship. Then next, I have Aries's middle name, which is Orion, spelled O-R-I-O-N, Orion. I love his name, Aries Orion. And Orion is Greek rooted, meaning bright star, and it is the brightest constellation in the night sky. Moving over to an Egyptian inspired name, actually, I have the name Pharaoh, spelled P-H-A-R-A-O-H, Pharaoh. I honestly love this for girls as well, but it's what you would call an ancient Egyptian ruler, and the name literally is Latin rooted, meaning ruler. I have Evander, spelled E-V-A-N-D-E-R, Evander. This one's Scottish and Greek rooted, meaning bow warrior or strong man. Rilo, spelled R-Y-L-O, Rilo. It's a mix of Irish and Norse roots, meaning thunderbolt. Atlas, spelled A-T-L-A-S, Atlas, another Greek god-inspired name, meaning bearer of the heavens. Next, for an E name, I have Emric, spelled E-M-E-R-I-C, Emric. And this one's French-rooted, meaning power. Magnus, spelled M-A-G-N-U-S, Magnus. This one's Scandinavian-rooted, meaning greatest. Then I have Ajax, spelled A J A X, Ajax. I actually really love this one. And Ajax was a strong and courageous Greek mythology hero. Persian rooted name, we have Cyro, spelled C Y R O, Cyro. And this one means sun. Then I have Dion, spelled D I O N, Dion. This is also one of my favorites. It's Greek rooted, meaning child from heaven and earth. Next, we have Aurelio, spelled A U R E L I O, Aurelio. It's Italian rooted, meaning the golden man. Then we have Tasman, spelled T A S M A N. You could replace the S with a Z as well, Tasman, or nicknamed Taz or Tazzy. And this one is obviously inspired by the Tasman Sea. Another direct god name, we have Odin, spelled O D I N, Odin. Now he was the Norse god of poetic fury and frenzy. Ambrose, spelled A-M-B-R-O-S-E, Ambrose. This one's Greek rooted, meaning immortal. Draco, spelled 
spelled D-R-A-C-O, Draco. It's Greek rooted, meaning dragon. Then I have Auric, spelled A-U-R-I-C, Auric. And this one's Latin rooted, very similar to Aurelio, meaning the golden one. Now, before I move on, make sure you guys are commenting down below some names that you feel would fit this list. Very powerful, masculine kind of sounding names. All right, Z name here, we have Zane. It's spelled Z-A-N-E, Zane. This one is a variant of John, meaning God is gracious. One of my faves is Phoenix, spelled P-H-O-E-N-I-X, Phoenix. Now, Phoenix is my daughter's middle name, absolutely in love with it forever. It's Greek rooted, meaning immortal or rebirth, and it was a Greek mythological bird. Next, we have Calyx, spelled C-A-L-I-X or L-Y-X. Now, this is a Greek rooted, meaning chalice, and a chalice actually symbolizes friendship, or good company. It's also a botanical name. Handsome, but a little bit romantic, we have Romeo, spelled R-O-M-E-O, -E Romeo. It's Italian rooted, meaning Roman. Torian, spelled T-O-R-I-A-N, Torian. This one's Irish rooted, meaning chief. Cassio, spelled C-A-S-S-I-O, Cassio. And this one's Italian rooted, also meaning hollow. Time for a Japanese inspired name here. Here we have Asano, spelled A-S-A-N-O, Asano. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it means shallow plain. Then for an animal name, guys, we have Lynx, spelled L-Y-N-X, Lynx. I've always loved this as one of those kind of more edgier sounding animal names, but I feel like a Lynx really symbolizes like mythology or urban myths. I think it's so cool. Another Z option here is Zayn, spelled Z-A-Y-A-N, Zayn. It's Arabic Arabic rooted meaning handsome. Ezio, spelled E Z I O, Ezio. It's Italian from Greek meaning eagle. Keeping on the animal theme here, we have Tigran, spelled T I G R A N. Tigran. Guys, with the nickname like Tig or Tiggy, I think this is so handsome. It's Armenian meaning sharp or it could be inspired by like tiger, like the animal name. Next, we have Achilles, spelled A-C-H-I-L-L-E-S, Achilles. This was one of my top contenders for actually Aries's name, and he also was a Greek mythological hero. Next is Castiel, spelled C-A-S-T-I-E-L, Castiel. It's Hebrew rooted, meaning my cover is God. Thor, spelled T-H-O-R, Thor. He's the North and Scandinavian god of thunder and lightning. Zare, spelled Z-A-I-R, Zare. It's a biblical place name, but it also means helper and supporter. Then we have Tobias, spelled T-O-B-I-A-S, Tobias. And this one's also Greek rooted, meaning God is good. Making our way down the list here, I have the name Rhodes, spelled R-H-O-D-E-S, Rhodes. This one's so cool, it means Island of Roses. Next up is Titus, spelled T-I-T-U-S or T-Y-D-U-S. You can do either or. This one's Latin rooted, and it's actually a title of honor and a Roman and Shakespearean name. Canaan, spelled C-A-N-A-A-N, Canaan. It's an Old Testament biblical place name. Azar, spelled A-Z-A-R, Azar. It's Iranian rooted, meaning fire. I have an O name here that I think is so cool. It's the name Orazio, spelled O-R-A-Z-I-O, Orazio. Like, how cool is that, guys? It's Latin rooted, meaning timekeeper. French inspired name here is Loic, spelled L-O-I-C, Loic, and this one means light. Then for another O name, similar to Orazio, I have Ozias, spelled O-Z-I-A-S. Now the Z there in Ozias, you could do an S, and it's Greek rooted, meaning salvation. All right, last few names here, guys. I have Valentino, spelled V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-O, Valentino. It's a Latin rooted, meaning health and strength. 
Octavian, spelled O-C-T-A-V-I-A-N, Octavian. This one's Greek rooted, meaning eight. Another Greek option, guys, because Greek names are just something else to me. I love them. It's the name Atticus, spelled A-T-T-I-C-U-S, Atticus. And this one means from the ancient city. Number 46, I have Kojo, spelled K-O-J-O, -O, Kojo. This one's a Ghanaian and a Khan rooted name, meaning born on Monday. Third to last name is Adonis, spelled A-D-O-N-I-S, Adonis. It's Greek rooted, meaning Lord. Alaric, spelled A-L-A-R-I-C, Alaric. It's German rooted, meaning all powerful ruler. Then last but certainly not least, we have the name Aslan, spelled A-S. L-A-N, Aslan. Guys, you guys know the lion in the Chronicles of Narnia. So amazing, I love that one. And it holds such like power behind the name. Every time I think of it, it just screams power and super handsome to me. So I hope you guys loved all of these strong and handsome boy names that have this kind of mythology kind of feel to them. Also, I feel that boy names, parents are a little bit more scared to kind of be a little bit more fun and unique with i feel just because i don't know they have this maybe mentality that like you know you want your man to grow up and it to work when he's older but i feel like all of these names and any kind of mythology inspired names have this just kind of power behind them and strength and i really feel that they suit little kids all the way up to you know adulthood and i really feel that they grow really well and are very timeless so i hope you enjoyed the list today next week we're gonna have a really cool girl's name list that you guys have been crying out for i won't mention it but make sure you guys are stay tuned go check me out over on instagram as i will be mentioning what the video will be later on this week all right Take care, guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and having fun. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, take care. Bye.